Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. This is gonna be my new Witcher season two Netflix video. They released a teaser trailer a little while ago showing off some of the new monsters they were bringing into season two and some of the cast first look previews. So we'll break it all down. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We're doing an Amazon giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave all your predictions for the Witcher season two on the video. So we'll just start with the footage first, then the cast previews, then I'll talk about the Jason Momoa Witcher stuff. I know everyone would love to see Jason Momoa show up as a Witcher in the Netflix universe. But the teaser trailer they released a little while ago had previews of a couple new monsters that they're doing in season two. This one is believed to be the three crones of Crookback Bog. They actually show up during a mission in The Witcher 3, but you don't actually see the crones themselves. They're part of a legend. The legend goes that in foul times, when plague or famine steals our harvest, we must beg the ladies for help. If they deem fit, they will hear our pleas and knock back fortune's foul blows. These are the instructions for how you beg for help from the ladies, quote unquote, as they call them. Find a child, young and innocent, and take it to Crookback Bog. Search out the ladies' shrine. That is where the trail of treats begins. This is starting to sound familiar. Set the child off the trail and it shall follow its sweet track and find the good ladies. The child will never want for anything ever again, for the ladies are kind and generous. Standing before their shrine, pronounce your request and the good ladies will hear, for they see all that takes place in their domain. If you made the offering as it must be done, your supplication will be heard. So if it wasn't clear, it's implied that they eat the children that you sacrifice to them. Then this is the other new monster that they're introducing in season two. It's too hard to tell just from looking at this clawed hand, but it looks like it just clawed someone's eye out and it's just dragging it along here, just covered in dirt and grass. The only other monster that they talked about doing during season two was the Leshen, so it's possible that they include that in season two. The Geralt teaser that they released just shows off his new armor, which I think is a huge design upgrade over the season one Witcher armor. There were a lot of armors that got redesigned for season two. I know you're asking about the Nilf Guardian's armor. Yes, the showrunner said that they would fix that for season two. The full synopsis for season two kind of tells you where he's at at the beginning of season two, episode one. It just reads, Convinced that Yennefer's life was lost at the Battle of Sodden, Geralt of Rivia brings Princess Cirilla to the safest place he knows, his childhood home of Caer Morhen. While the continent's kings, elves, humans, and demons strive for supremacy outside its walls, he must protect the girl from something far more dangerous, the mysterious power which she possesses inside, which is a reference to her elder blood. Then obviously the new preview of Ciri is from Kaer Morhen, where Geralt, Vesemir, the other witchers will be training her. I'll talk about the other witchers that they're introducing during season two in a second. But this is her smack dab in the middle of that. If you played the games, Geralt has a dream of Ciri at the beginning of Witcher 3 with her training as a child. That's a pretty good approximation of what this will be like at the beginning of season two, episode one. As that official season two synopsis implies, the reason why they're training her is to help her control her power and better prepare her for the wars to come. But this is long before the wild hunt shows up, long before the prophecy of her elder blood comes true in the coming of the white frost. That's all stuff that you get into during The Witcher 3. There's still a lot of battles to fight before that happens. You still have her father, Emperor Amir. You have Vilgefortz, who winds up becoming a pretty big villain in the series. We also have a first look at some footage that they were filming of some of the Nilfgaardian mages, including Stregobor. So this is Stregobor and Vilgefortz just walking around in the middle of one of the episodes. I'll talk about them in a second when I talk about Yennefer's character, because most of her scenes at the beginning of the season will be dealing with those mages up in Nilfgaard. The funny rhyming quote that they came up with for Geralt just reads, his emotional shield can ward off any charmer, but his trusted sword he'll wield will be matched with new armor. I think part of the joke of this is you're supposed to read these like Jaskier is coming up with them because he's the person that creates all the songs on the show. Everyone toss all the coins to your witcher. The quote for Ciri just reads, her tearful goodbyes on a most violent night, now this child of surprise is preparing to fight. Then the Yennefer preview is of her literally in chains pretty much after the Battle of Sodden Hill. That's because she was captured by the Nilfgaardians after this conflict and is forced to serve Emperor Amir, which is why she and Geralt and Ciri are separated for a good amount of the season at the beginning. They're not going to do multiple timelines or anything like that. There'll probably be some flashbacks to explain how she wound up with the Nilfgaardians. So we'll probably just bounce back and forth between Yennefer scenes up closer to Nilfgaard with the mages and then Geralt and Ciri scenes of her training but it'll all be happening at the same time with maybe a few flashbacks to explain how they wound up where they are. There were some scenes of them filming Geralt and Yennefer together looking like they had been reunited, but I'm assuming because they don't film the episodes in a linear fashion that this is happening way later during the season. Yennefer's quote that they came up with just reads, she used her full might 
and the battlefield burned, then she vanished from sight, but Yen will return. The big deal with Jason Momoa joining The Witcher Netflix, if you didn't see my video from a while ago, is that he's actually in talks to play the very first Witcher during one of the spin-off series that they're doing called Witcher Blood Origin. It's basically just the story of the very first Witcher, so it's going to be a six episode miniseries, and they're going to be doing things like that big spin-off series of the main Witcher Netflix series in the future too, like a Witcher Netflix cinematic universe. I would love to see Jason Momoa play a Witcher. It's only six episodes, so I think it'd be pretty easy for him to squeeze it in his schedule because he is so busy doing Apple series, doing the Aquaman movies. But he posted this art to his Instagram, calling out Henry Cavill on his Instagram. So if he's putting his Justice League brother on blast about joining him in the Witcher universe, it sounds like it's actually pretty close to happening. The Order of the Witchers and all of the different Witcher schools were actually created after the conjunction of the spheres. So you have all these different monsters crossing into the planet from other planets. They needed special warriors to fight those monsters, so the mages actually developed the Witcher potions for the mutations that turned them into Witchers. The werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. So whatever they get into in this Witcher Blood Origin series, I'm assuming they'll also get into the origin of the Witcher mutation potions, like the Trial of the Grasses. The other new Witchers that they're introducing during Season 2 will seem familiar if you played the games or you read the books, obviously. But one of them is Cone. He's a Witcher from the School of the Griffin, who also helps train Ciri in sword combat. They're doing Lambert, who's another younger, more recent Witcher from the School of the Wolf, where Geralt is from. They're also doing Eskel, who's another Witcher from the School of the Wolf, who's been Geralt's friend since childhood. They actually went through training in the Trial of the Grasses together, so they have a lot more history. And I know a lot of people would have loved to see Mark Hamill play Vesemir because he was talking about it on his Twitter account a while ago. He wasn't familiar with who the character was. He didn't know anything about the Witcher series, but he was like, I should definitely play this character. But I guess for whatever reason, the scheduling just didn't work out. So they wound up casting Kim Badia from Killing Eve. So he will be playing Vesemir during season two. Obviously, one of the bigger characters, they're actually doing a Witcher movie, an anime movie that I believe is called The Nightmare of the Wolf, which is all about Vesemir when he was younger. They didn't say when they're going to release that, but like I said, they're developing many different Witcher Netflix projects, not just the main series with Henry Cavill, Geralt, Ciri, and Yennefer. That's just the main story. The other really big character that they're doing from the books, it'll actually seem familiar, is Nivellen from The Last Wish Story, A Grain of Truth. He's a cursed man who's kind of like the beast from Beauty and the Beast. It's a very similar type of story, but with a darker twist on it. He's being played by, get this, Tormund Giantsbane from Game of Thrones. That's right, he spends all of his time on that series boasting about the things that he does with bears, only to come to The Witcher Netflix to turn into a bear himself. There's a ton of other new characters too, but basically Season 2 will essentially be adapting the story from Blood of Elves with a little bit of stuff that they're circling back around for, like the Last Wish Nivellan character. And even though I mentioned Emperor Amir and Vilgefortz being kind of like antagonists in the series, the real villain of season two, arguably, of Blood of Elves, the book they're adapting, is Ryan's. So they haven't announced who's playing him, but it's possible that they just combined his character with Cahir's character from season one, and they're just going to use him in that role during season two, and he becomes a much bigger villain than he was during season one. There have been a couple breaks in their filming schedule just because of issues with the virus and having to take things slowly, but I believe the plan is to still release The Witcher Season 2 episodes by the end of next year. Once we get a trailer for The Witcher movie and for this other Witcher spin-off series, Blood Origin, I'll start doing videos for that stuff too. But everyone, let me know in the comments if you have any big questions. I will do more Witcher Netflix videos as they start to ramp up. We'll probably see some footage sometime early spring next year at least. Because Henry Cavill also has the Justice League Snyder Cut coming out next spring, they'll probably try to build on the synergy of that just because so many people will be thinking about Henry Cavill around that period. Like, okay, let's dump some Witcher Netflix footage. Give them all the Henry Cavill that they can handle. And for those of you that were asking earlier today, apparently there was an issue with YouTube being down around the world. Nobody was able to watch any videos. Hopefully it's fixed by the time I post this video. But as long as you have alerts enabled for my channel, you should see all the videos when I post them. And there are links for all my social accounts, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff down in the description. My Mandalorian Season 2 Episode 3 video is going to post on Friday. 
While you wait for everything, click here for all my Witcher Season 2 Netflix videos and click here for my full Mandalorian Season 2 Episode 2 video. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.